This is the elevator at the business park in Beaverton, Oregon. But this isn't no passenger elevator. Look at this. I am riding my first freight elevator ever. This is huge. Okay, so you got your... I'm just getting fixtures. Please close the door. Okay, let's go up to two. This is going to be so awesome. Here we go. Should be going. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm in the back of the elevator right now. Here comes two. I hope it doesn't just stop. It's gonna stop. Odd leveling. Let's go back down. Look at this. Oh my god. This is awesome. Oh my god. This shakes. Uh, it's gonna stop. Wow, this is one of the shakiest elevators I've ever owned. For some reason, this is one of the very first elevators where I cannot control my knee movement. And I guess for now, here's the man-powered elevator. I guess for now, that's it. And I'm not sure of the brand. It says like, Sturm? I tried searching for this on YouTube. Never found it. Here's the light switch. The emergency light comes on. Then you got your emergency stop, which you can pull. The capacity on this is 4,000 pounds. I was expecting like 8,000. And there's the thing. That's it. This is going to be an impact cam. Actually, I guess on the uh, freight elevator. That's the door on two. These are your fixtures. Look, what is floor? That scared me. Okay, now we're going to place the camera on the floor. Hopefully you're seeing what I hope you're seeing. And we're going to go up to two of our friends. Which, uh, that says, I, th I think it connects to the shaft, like, but it doesn't work. Oh my gosh. This stuff is all greasy. <laughs> this is huge. And for only 4,000 pounds? Wow. Let's take a look at that emergency light thing again. I really like the non-key. Wow. There's the button. That is the key switch to lock it off, I think. So I guess for now, that's it. 